Axe battle it out at Eurovision 2023 Grand Final in Liverpool. Axe from 26 countries have performed in Liverpool as they compete to win Eurovision 2023, with Sweden's Loreen and Finland's Karija among the favourites. They have taken to the stage along with May Muller, representing the UK, Israel's Noah Kirill, Ukrainian duo Tvorchi and Australia's Voyager among others. The show opened with a performance by last year's winners, Ukraine's Kalush Orchestra, featuring a surprise cameo by Catherine, Princess of Wales. The contest is being held in Liverpool this year, because the war in Ukraine prevents them hosting. If you're in the UK you can watch live on BBC One, iPlayer and by clicking the play button on this page. And follow along right here as we bring you all the action. Like I said earlier, there was some negative chatter about May Muller during rehearsals. But it seems like she was holding all her firepower for the grand final. That was the best she's done all week. Her voice was stronger, her dance moves more confident and, crucially for those of you at home, they changed up the camera angles so you could see more of her performance. The green room where the artists sit is in full-on party mode right now. The United Kingdom has just closed the show, every artist has done everything they can. The drinks are being poured, selfies are being had. Who will win? We couldn't hear what the hosts were saying because the crowd were so loud. It feels amazing to be here. The crowd in the village is watching May Muller and I spot someone who looks a lot like Sam Ryder, last year's performer for the UK. <laughs> George Folds is dressed as Sam Ryder because his wife did it in his words. He says, my wife is a very big fan of his. Lots of people are stopping me because they think I'm Sam. It's pretty terrifying but a great experience. And finally, it's the UK's May Muller with I Wrote a Song. We see a psychedelic pink and yellow backdrop, with a giant floating picture of May's head, hands and feet, not all at once. Her trademark long fingernails also take center stage. May and her four dancers are on a huge, long podium, and the backdrop provides the eye-catching action, while May delivers her cool, feminist message. I found myself when listening to Laureen's songs. She makes me feel like I can lose all my insecurities. That's according to Kama Soltry, who I meet strutting into the fan village in huge white heels and an orange cat suit. I ask her about the outfit and she says it is chosen based on no pain no gain, describing her heels and then tight trousers and a cheap wig because of the cost of living. This is the first time Croatia have qualified for the final since 2017. Mama. S impressive mustaches alone were enough to warrant their place in tonight's final. The intro sounds a bit like the strokes before it swiftly changes tack and turns into a kind of novelty marching song. Good or bad, we're not sure. Their costumes literally reek of Eurovision. Sparkly suits, sailor hats, sweeping floral military coats, you name it. So guys hopefully you have enjoyed this video and if you liked this video subscribe our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for latest updates.